Hi, this is Francis Wade over at Two Time Labs. I wanted to address a question that I often get in my training, which is how can I arrive at the end of the day feeling as if I got some solid things accomplished? Not just try to do a bunch of stuff, but actually got things accomplished by being focused throughout the day. Well, one of the answers that I give has to do with a course that I took about almost 20 years ago from Tom DeMarco and Tim Lister. They also produced a book called uh, People Wear. What they said in the training was that the number one or one of the major predictors of software programmer productivity is, and you know, I actually posed this question to my trainees, what's one of the biggest predictors of software program, programmer productivity? Everyone sort of gets stunned for a while and about 10% of the time they come up with the answer, which is actually something measurable. It's floor space. Now, it's not that floor space actually produces good programming. It's that <coughs> programmers who have more floor space tend to have doors. And when you, have to tend to ha when you tend to have a door, you tend to have walls. With walls and a door, what you can produce is quiet, a space in which you don't get interrupted. So the most effective tool to produce good software, it's not space per se, but it's the ability to control your environment so that it's quiet, it's, uh, you can bar the door uh, against interruptions. So that gives us sort of a clue as to how to be focused and produce results in our regular day. What we need to do is to create an environment in which we don't get interrupted. So there's a book called Flow that focuses on the fact that it takes us about 20 minutes to get into what it calls the flow state in which we're most productive. Once we're in the flow state, we have to guard it against interruptions, whether that might be your cell phone, someone tapping you on the shoulder, your email, browsing the web, whatever it might be. The idea is that you're, you're at your most productive and you produce the best results when you're able to carve out uninterrupted time. So the problem is in most modern day workplaces is that we have, we have cubicles. And with cubicles, especially with the low walls, come visual distractions, audible distractions, physical distractions. People can walk up to you and tap you on the shoulder, interrupt you from what you're doing, and interact with you to the point where you lose track of whatever it is you are working on. I've seen people come up with innovative ways to create this kind of uh, cocoon environment that's needed for good results. One is to put in headphones. Another is to move the desk so that they're actually, f or work from the part of the cubicle that allows them to face a blank wall without any, any visual interruptions. Um, another is to do strange things like put on a hat that says, don't bother me, or print it in the back, or a sign on the back, or whatever it might be. Whatever it is that you need to do to get the work done that you need to do. Some people don't even come into work. I remember uh, when I used to work at AT&T, what we used to say is that I'm staying home to get work done. Implication being that when I come to work, it's too hard. The environment is not set up for me to be productive. So it's a quick tip. Do whatever you can to get into the flow state. Stay in it. Use the result of, of the research that people like DeMarco and Lister have done to show that you can even convince your boss that you need a cubicle with a door, with walls, or some ways, some socially acceptable ways to create time that allows you to enter that productive cocoon. So please share this tip with other people in your office and with your boss if you want. This is Francis Wade over at the Two Time Labs and tune in because there are many more tips coming up. Take care.